Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightSailVR.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mount your Google Drive as a hard drive like we see here. You can see my Google Drive is assigned to the letter G. The reason this is helpful is that if you collaborate, let's say we have 100 artists, um, we can all have a Google Drive shared storage and then our paths can be the same. So if you have an asset library or something similar, you can all have the same exact path. So G, you know, asset libraries, and then whatever. So for instance, if I go into here, I can go to Google Drive, shared drives, we can have a specific project. And then in here, we can have a folder structure however we want. And all of this would be the same for everybody. This would be the same path for everyone. So to do this, you have to do a few things. So obviously you need to have the Google Drive folder set up. So to do that, you can go to google.com slash drive slash download and download it, install it. And then once it's installed, you can uh, press the Windows button and then you can search for it, but like you can also go down and just find it here, Google Drive, click on it. Uh, it's already running. If this doesn't show up, you can come down here to the tray and you can click on the Google Drive. And then here is also where you can change things. So if you go up to the settings button, preferences, you'll have to sign in. So if you're not signed into the right account, you will not get it. So make sure you're signed in, then go over to the settings cog, make sure that drive letter is, is there, and then G, or whatever letter, you can choose whichever letter you want, but for now I'm just gonna keep it at G. And then um, the other thing you might wanna do is in your shared drive, for instance, I want this future cities to be synced. So this is on this PC, I can right click on this folder and then come down here to say offline access available offline. So that means whatever is put into here, it's going to automatically download. You can see it's green check mark here. That means everything is downloaded. You can also right click and you can do offline access online only. So for instance, this archive folder, I'm going to be putting trash, basically stuff we don't need, but maybe we want to get back to it at some point. Um, and I can select that on a folder per folder basis. So the next thing you have to know how to do is set up a shared drive. So to do that, you go to your Google Drive, and then this is just drive.google.com, and I'll just go ahead and go there. Yeah, drive.google.com, obviously you sign in. And then under shared drives, this is where you can see all of your shared drives. If I click on shared drives, you can see them here. If I right click on this shared drives, I can create a new shared drive. So if you want um, you know, a specific project, to share with a bunch of other people, you don't want to give them access to your entire Google library, or whatever, then this is how I would do it. So for us, for me, um, the way I do it is I create a new shared drive for each project. So for instance, Foo Fighters project, this Future Cities project, these are all, you know, I only need to share with uh, the artists who are working on Future Cities, they only need access to this, uh, to this folder. So once you've created it here, then it should automatically show up in your shared drives. And now we can all be on the same page. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.